Hey there, my fellow Halo fans, it's Psycho here. As I saw Eggman's video, why is Halo declining, I thought about a lot of things that went wrong with Halo 5 again and that I have to say some things about all of that too. So in this video I'm going to sum up some of the points I think are the most important to keep in mind for Halo 6 or at least the next big shooter installment of the Halo series. I started playing Halo almost 10 years ago and ever since it has been one of my favorite video game series. And maybe that is why I've done a lot of Halo videos on YouTube since 2010, on our own channel SIG Enterprises and on the German Halo community channel Halo Cluster. Yes folks, you heard right, there is a German Halo community. It may be small, but it is there. And like in the rest of the Halo community, we have some really passionate people over here. But the point is, usually I would make a video like this in German, but I really want to get the word out there to the community and as little as the chance may be, I want to make it possible that some people at 343 or Microsoft could understand what I want to say. So there's no language barrier, you know. And I know that my English is not super bad at all, but it's still kind of a special task to me to make a video like that. And before you tell me how annoying my accent is, try to focus on the points I want to make with this video. First of all, I want to say that Halo 5 is a great game. I love it. It's a lot of fun. But that does not mean that everything went perfect since the game was released last November. But on the other hand, just hating won't solve anything either. So try to be rational about it. There are a lot of passionate people over at 343. And if you are thinking that Bungie was so much better, don't forget a lot of former Bungie employees now work at 343, like Frank O'Connor for example. He's been there since the Halo 2 days, um, so quite a long time for him. The MCC and Halo 5 had a pretty troubled development and thanks to late night gaming we know that. And we also know that Microsoft is even more to blame than the people at 343. But what went wrong with Halo 5 and what are the things that need to change in Halo 6? First of course the content at launch. We all know that it is just not acceptable to have no infection, no race, no oddball, no bomb, no griffball, no king of the hill and even no forge at launch. I mean the Halo 5 forge is amazing. And every update it's kind of freaking me out again how much amazing things they're still adding to Halo 5's forge. But still, it wasn't there at launch. I mean we still have no in-game fire browser, no race and no king of the hill. Sure. The free updates every month were a great thing, but those DLCs should not contain content that should have been there from the beginning, like Forge or Infection. So Halo 6 needs to have all of those game modes at launch. And if Microsoft wants to continue the free DLC politics, that's fine with me. Because overall, it's a great thing. New and free content every month that keeps the game experience fresh? Yeah, sure. Also, it doesn't split up the fanbase in two camps, like the older Halos did. There were the people who bought the map packs and there were the people who didn't. But because of the people who didn't purchase the map packs still needed to be able to play the game without the new maps, it got kind of shitty for the people who bought them. That always led to the circumstance that the players which bought the maps weren't able to play them at all in matchmaking after the special map pack playlist were taken out of the game. So free DLC and maps for everyone is a great thing. But they need to add up to all the content we should have had at launch and not add it into the game a few months later. There are a lot of things that I think should change for Halo 6. You know, I'm gonna make a short checklist here. And that's what Rifle 3 should do. Because it's really frustrating to see amazing things and features from old Halo games suddenly disappear in the next installment of the series. But I will get to that again in a moment. First of all, 343 needs to keep up the amazing gameplay they created with Halo 5. Spartan abilities are great. Sure, Spartan Charge could use some tweaks, but overall, I love it. The combination of Sprint and your ability to regain your shields was one of the best changes I've seen to Halo in a long time. It feels new, unique and great. I'm just enjoying the gameplay itself and not many shooters have something like that today. So keep that up, 343. Furthermore, go back to all the old Halo games and gather around all the things they did great. 
we all know that the Halo 5 UI is not that good. We got a few additions with the post carnage report, but overall the UI is still not the best we've seen in the Halo game. What was the best UI in the Halo game? I think the one Halo Reach brought us. It was very simple, but also on the other hand very easy and great. For example, when you started the game you were able to see all your friends that were playing Halo Reach at the moment and even more. You could see what they were doing without pressing a button. If they were in a big custom lobby playing some speed or other fun game times, you were able to see that. And you could join them without any problems. If there was a free slot in the lobby, of course. So maybe Strip 3 should think back to things like that when they design the UI and other stuff for Halo 6. Reach, for example, had another point it did great. The sandbox and the customization both were incredible. There were so many options to design your own game modes. Yeah, even Firefight was customizable. Sure, Warzone Firefight is fun, but it's just potential thrown out of the window if we can't customize our own versions of the game mode. So come on Microsoft, come on Surfer 3, go crazy with your sandbox. Let us customize all the game modes, let us play Warzone in custom games, give us all the tools you can think of. Campaign theater, observer mode, an in-game file browser with the voting system so you know which community maps players would like to see in matchmaking. Every Halo fan will thank you for that. Oh, and bring all of that at launch, of course. Another point you definitely need to change is the implementation of split screen. Yeah, exactly, there is no split screen in Halo 5. One of the first things that comes to my mind when I think back how I started playing and loving Halo was having evenings and sometimes whole nights with my friends playing Halo 2 or Halo 3 on our couch in split screen. We were just having good times. And when those friends come over now and ask me if you could play some Halo 5 in split screen on my couch, I always have to disappoint them. Playing video games with your friends on your couch at home is still a thing. And Halo needs split screen. So make it work in Halo 6, Rufus 3 and Microsoft. So last but not least we get to the campaign. And I say it as it is. Halo 5's story was just bad. I don't mean Destiny or Call of Duty bad, but still bad, especially in comparison to all the other Halo games. Halo 4 was different and gave characters like the Master Chief and Cortana new depths. She said that to me once. About being a machine. And Halo 5 just... It was just so stupid and threw almost everything Halo 4 did out of the window. The player got not involved at all in anything and Master Chief became more flat than he ever was. I know that 343 had different plans with story of Halo 5 and I know Microsoft had a much bigger part in all of that. But that's not important. What is important is that they need to change a lot of things for Halo 6. We need a better story with better characters. and. What is even more important, we need to be able to understand all of it, even if we haven't read any comics or books. I mean, yeah, sure, Microsoft is a big company and they need to make money. But why do the people at Microsoft think the story of Halo 5 had to go this way? To sell more books? To sell more comics? Yeah, sure. After Halo 5, I'm not so interested in buying any more books or comics. I maybe would be more interested if the story would have been good. I would think something like, oh yeah, Vale was so amazing in Halo 5, I want to know more about her. But with the story we got, nope, sorry, I'm not willing to pay more money to learn something about a character I don't care about at all. So now I've made some points, what I think went wrong with Halo 5 and what I think needs to change in order to get Halo 6 right. But what does all of that mean specifically? I do hope that Microsoft has learned its lesson by now. I hope they know that they have to give 343 the freedom and the time they need to make their games the best they can possibly be. And not like Halo 5 where I can't shake the feeling that so much potential was just thrown to the trash. I really hope that Halo Wars 2 being delayed to 2017 is the first sign of all that. But what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video, despite my German accent, please rate the video. If you even think I made a point here, feel free to share the video with your friends or other Halo fans. 
Please remember that this is a German YouTube channel and that we will continue making videos in German. If you are German or speak German or even if you want to learn our language by watching our videos, you're welcome to stick around and to subscribe. Yeah, would be kind of weird though, learning German with our videos, but yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> if not, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Psycho and I shall see you in Halo. Bye.